Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. It's been a while <coughs> since I've posted something because I didn't actually find anything special to post until uh, until now. So I found Project Send that I wanted to show you how you can easily install it on your Deegan server. Now we have the Bookworm edition that is Debian 12 edition. But I'm gonna be installing everything on Deegan 11 still. Of course, you can do the same process on the newest Bookworm edition, it works perfectly. So, if you have it installed, you can uh, use this tutorial and install Project Send. What is Project Send? So, Project Send is a free open source uh, self hosted file sharing solution. It features real-time statistics, uh, creating client groups, self-registration and social login, and custom email templates. Project Send is written in PHP pro programming language. To follow this um, tutorial, you will need uh, to install LAMP's LAMP stack. So, I'm just gonna do it uh, like uh, from the basics. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna start with just updating all the packages, and af after that, we're gonna proceed with installing um, PHP. So I'm gonna use PHP 8.2, the newest one. Well, actually, there you go, I have a bookworm here, I didn't even notice. Okay, so, we're gonna install PHP 8.2 with, of course, FPM. And after the installation, you will be able to start the service, enable it, then you can check the status of the service. And the next step, you need to configure the PHP ini configuration file, because it's going to hold all the configuration for your present FPM that you're going to use for PHP. So if you're interested how you can configure the FPM module in PHP. You can always check it up on the internet because it's there's like a lot of different tutorials about it. I'm not gonna show it because it's well really easy. I'm just gonna show you like the basic setup and we're gonna use here just some basic stuff. Of course, uh, I'm gonna also use some additional modules for PHP. I'm gonna install as well like uh, additional modules like uh, Image Magic, MySQL of course uh, module, and FPM, yeah, GD curl, zip, uh, XML, M MB string, and uh, Intel, uh, BCMath, GMP, CLI. And of course, PHP DVG. Okay, so after the install, we can just start the service. We can enable, of course, everything. And we can go to our PHP ini file. 
we can change the memory of init. Like I said, I'm not going to show you how to change most of the stuff in the configuration because it's really easy. You need you just need to read a little bit about it online. So just like a basic thing, the memory limit here. So it uses more memory, and actually, we can also change the date and time zone because if you haven't set that up, it's always used good to use it. So I'm gonna use mine. Okay, and that's it. We're gonna restart, of course, our PHP. And now we're gonna install all the additional modules. After this process, we can actually go to the uh, alternatives in PHP config, and we can check because if you have like one more than one PHP version on your server, you can of course switch them, switch between them quite easily. So just to show you that I don't have any other versions installed. On this server, we're gonna do sudo update alternatives and we're gonna go to configuration. And there we go, I have only PHP 8.2, the newest one. And here it asks me which, uh, uh, which priority I should take, so I'm gonna take number one. Although, if I left it on the auto mode, the default mode would be this one because I only have one installed. Okay, of course next we need to install MariaDB. Of course you can install whichever database you want, Postgres, whatever. Whatever works for you. I'm gonna install MariaDB. After that we're gonna do the secure installation. We're gonna choose no, no, and yes, 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 and yes. And there we go, we have it, have, have it set up. Now we're gonna go to MySQL. <coughs> and here we're gonna create the database. Next, of course, we're gonna create the user. It's gonna be in the identified by this password whichever password you're gonna choose here of course I'm gonna just leave everything on default I'm just copying and pasting from my own notes that I made so it's faster and easier we're gonna grant all the pri privileges of course to the user project send and to the to the database for this user then we're gonna flash the privileges and we're gonna exit the MySQL. Okay, so we got it set up. Now we can install Nginx or we can install Apache. It depends on uh, which, which one of those two you want to use. I prefer myself uh, Nginx mostly, but you can, of course. Uh, rely on Apache as well. In this tutorial I'm gonna use N the Nginx. So. Ok, 
Okay, so MG Nights is spinning, so now we can actually commence with downloading uh, downloading projects and so you if you want to download the newest project send you need to go to www.projectsend.org and then to the download section and then you need to see which uh, catalog number is the newest one so as of today the newest one was 614 and this is the uh, whole path for the download so I'm going to download the project send and it's going to be packed in project send.zip. After that we're going to install unzip so we can actually unzip the archive. So we're going to first create a, di a directory in user shared nginx which is called project send. And then we're gonna unzip everything into this directory. After that, we're gonna do chown. And it's gonna be the user www data. After that, we're gonna go to the newest directory. Of course, Project send includes, and here we're gonna copy the sample configuration PHP to the system configuration PHP. So from the sample, we're copying everything to the main config. And now we're gonna open the system configuration file. And we're gonna change everything. So, of course, database is MySQL, database name. In my case, it's project send. Uh, next, of course, localhost uh, and the database user. So, the user that we created. In my case, it's just project send user and of course the password fairly easy I'm gonna save everything clear the screen so since I actually have my own domain and I could actually probably use Let's Encrypt here. Uh, but I'm gonna just use the self signed certificate. So, because I'm not gonna use the server name here, I'm gonna use my IP address because this is only like a tutorial. If you would like to, of course, uh, use your server name in the main configuration of Nginx, that is gonna be pointing out to the name of project send you can always put it in if you have your own domain you can um, set up everything so you will have the certificate that is valid I'm not gonna do it I'm just gonna use the self-signed certificate here so I'm gonna create two cert uh, certificate and the key and it's gonna just be called nginx and of course it's gonna be created for my IP address not my server name and I have to create it once again I think because I have a different IP address Okay. 
All right. So once again, Okay, so now I'm gonna create some Nginx snippets. So the first one is just a basic snippet for SSL certificates. So I'm just putting my self signed certificate and the key in this snippet. Now, next is gonna be some SSL parameters. So security parameters snippet. Here I'm gonna also put some things regarding protocols, ciphers, SSL session, stuff like that. Okay, next uh, I think I'm gonna create one more snippet and I'm gonna call it uh, locations. So it's in the snippet locations configuration and this one is gonna be a bit more extensive. So it looks a little bit like this. So I have just a bunch of different things uh, cooked up in this configuration. A bunch of stuff that is actually denying things in your Nginx. Now I'm gonna also create another snippet that is gonna be pointing to fast CGI parameters. So I'm gonna set up all the fast CGI parameters because we are gonna be using fast CGI here. So it's very important here to point it out to the correct document route. If you do it incorrectly, it's not gonna work. So just remember you need to point it out here because here you actually extract that project send. I, uh, of course, recommend leaving it on my default, def on my defaults, as I've done it here. If you want to experiment or you have some kind of experience with SCGI, of course, you can do it uh, on your own. But if you don't have that much experience with it, just copy and paste everything from here. Should work perfectly. Okay, so now it's time to actually create the main configuration. <coughs> so we're going to create it in conf.d because conf.d is included in the main nginx configuration as a directory that is going to be using your configuration for project send. So there we go. This is how it's going to going to look for me. And for you, if you're following my tutorial, so we're gonna be listening on the port 443. So we get SSL, we get cert self signed certificate, or a valid certificate that you have your own SSL, or maybe just let's encrypt. Uh, we get, of course, server name. Of course, I'm not gonna use my server name here because it's not gonna work because I haven't set it up on my domain. But I have included all the snippets, so self-signed, SSL parameters, location, fast CGI, of course, root, right, the root catalog, catalog, uh, of course, uh, ro uh, logs, error logs, access logs. Uh, we can actually skip this stuff because this is not needed here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna leave, of course, fast CGI parameter because we are using PHP 8.2 FPM socket, and of course, include snippets. So we're gonna be using all of those snippets. So it's nice and it's neat, it's clean and it's short, and that's how it should be actually in a config file. So I am all for using snippets. Okay, so let's check if I didn't fuck something up. Let's check the configuration. Seems fine. So now we're gonna just restart Nginx. So maybe we're gonna just do
Okay, so let's check. Right, so I think I actually had a patch installed. That's why it's saying that it cannot be used. Okay. Okay, so now let's uh, do a restart. And we're gonna check the status. Everything's active. Okay, so basically, uh, the last thing that remains is just uh, going to the installation page now and installing project sand. So let's do this. I'm just gonna open my web browser here. And of course, if you have configured your server name, it's going to look something like this. Then you're going to use the install folder and then we're going to use index.php. Of course, I don't have server name. That's why this is occurring to me. So I use, I'm using my own IP address and I have made the self-signed certificate linked to my IP address. So that's what we are going to use here in the installation process. So there we go. Here's our project send site name just test. Let's say it's gonna be admin F admin And there we go, project send. Everything is set up with the newest PHP version, with the newest Nginx. Here's your memory limit. Here's your database version of the database and software that you are actually uh, using. So, software, so the version of your uh, project send. Well, I think that's it for uh, this video. It's really easy to set it up if you need it. It's fast and it's easy. Uh, if you like to set up something similar so that uh, actually hosts, um, like, uh, I don't know, WordPress maybe or Joomla or something like that, uh, you can always use this configuration that I have shown here with Nginx. It should work in 90% of the time. Maybe even 95% of the time it should work without any problems. So, Okay guys, I hope you found it interesting. I will see you probably soon in a different kind of video because I'm setting up a mail server. So. Uh, I want to actually prepare a bigger material about how to set up your own email server, how to configure everything that it, you can use actually, uh, post Higgs and Dovecot, and uh, authentication. So, thanks again. Like, subscribe. If you feel like it, you can always be a supporter. So, thanks and see you soon.